Are, are you familiar with the Green Party platform of the, the 10 key values? I am. And Have you, and you know, thought of articulating, uh, you know, some of the... Yeah, you know, and there are components of it that I absolutely place. embrace. Um, I think it, to sort of understand my involvement with the Greens and that, that sort of component of the political world, I'm very curious. you want to you back up and look at, it's interesting, but, but because of my journeys in the world, it actually stems from a guy named Peter Garrett. Uh, Peter Garrett was the lead singer years ago for an Australian band called Midnight Oil. He's a very distinctive looking man. He's about 6'5 okay. with a shaven head and a, and a very very distinctive classic Australian voice. Garrett is a green, very, very progressive guy. Um, you know, anti-nuke guy, he was a guy who was an environmentalist long before that came into vogue and a uh, big supporter of Greenpeace. Um, he, I just, I like Garrett. You know, people would argue, well, he's, he's a bit you know, too extreme and this and that, but, but I don't think that's the case. Garrett ran and won a seat in the Australian Parliament. Garrett now is, is effectively the sort of minister of the environment for in Australia. He's a guy that I had a conversation with one night in Boston and um, after they had finished a show and I sat with him and we talked about this stuff. I told him I was working for Al Gore doing environmental work, um, you know, and, and was involved in this stuff. And we had a very substantive conversation. And I think if you watch the way that Prime Minister Howard, who was a conservative in Australia, really sort of vilified and mocked Garrett. And he said he was in cloud nine poo-poo land and this and that. And then if you look over the years at how Garrett, similar to Al Gore, never gave up his positions. He didn't do what was politically expedient. I mean, clearly he could have cashed in on his name and done that and won office. But he stuck with his belief structure, mm -hmm. right? And he drove that belief structure. And today, he is a huge substantive force in that world uh, in mm -hmm. Australia. That was the, the sort of first connection for me into that world. And mm -hmm. this dates back a lot of years. But, but I think that coupled with Al Gore's environmentalism were two of the pieces that really sort of drive me in that direction. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I would be very curious to uh, speak with you uh, more at length if we had more time. Uh, unfortunately, we are running out to you know uh, talk about um, you know the the Green Party and um, where it where it fits in, in in terms of third party politics and um, if uh, you don't uh, capture the the primary. Uh, is that something that you would consider as running as an independent? Yeah, you know, I've been a Democrat uh, essentially my whole life. There was a, a period of months when I first registered where I registered as an independent when I was a kid um, so that I could look at both parties and be very deliberative in my sort of selection. But my entire life, effectively, I've been a Democrat. I want to belong to a better party, but I don't want to leave the Democratic Party. Mm -hmm. which gives me only one choice, and that is to try to make the Democratic Party better. One of the things you see in the history of this country is that you can incorporate the ideas, the progressive ideas of other parties. I think if you look, for example, at Teddy Roosevelt as a you know, run as a bull moose, if you look at the, some of the independent movement, what, in my view, if, if the two parties are smart about this stuff, what they're going to do is not try to marginalize and mock these organizations, but they're going to try to figure out what makes sense and try to embrace it. And that, in many ways, on a short-term basis, in my view, is how third parties can be instrumental in moving this thing in a very substantive way. And one of the things you learn in the military is that when you're, when you're firing downrange, if the, the slightest change in elevation or windage, just things that might seem so minor to you right now, Downrange, the, the difference in where the impact of that bullet is, is tremendous. And one of the things I say to people in politics is, you, know, you have to see this not as an event, but as a process. And if you can incorporate and bring new people in and embrace something like the environmental sustainability that the Greens have been great about, and quite frankly that others have been very slow to catch on to, and that the Republicans refuse to even acknowledge today in large part, if you can impact and then steer the ship Understanding it turns slowly, but steer that ship of the Democrats to move them closer to that, 
in my view, it's a huge victory for the Greens. It's a huge victory for the Greens. Now, look, not everybody in the Democratic Party is going to think that. And clearly, old line Democrats would scream at me and tell me that's why you're a progressive. And I would say back, that is why I'm a progressive. Right? <laughs> there's no, in my world, there's no bad in that. Right. We, right. You're the so open liberal mind. is not a. That's right. Is not a dirty mind. word. Nor is progressive. That's right. And you you incorporate that which works. The notion, I, I tell people each night, when people say, what do you think about bipartisanship, what do you think, I say, look, the notion that God leaned over in the classroom and whispered in the ear of the kids in the blue sweaters and nobody in any of the other color sweaters heard it is ridiculous. <laughs> it's, it's, that's not reality, right? There's some of the things Democrats do are smart, some aren't so smart. And you can say that across the line with every political party and organization. I'm a big believer, study what works and then embrace that, right? Mm -hmm. Don't say, by definition, I oppose it because it wasn't our idea. That, that to me, is, is silly. That's silly. I would much rather take something, be it originally you know, coming from the Democrats or coming from the Greens or coming from the Republicans or somebody else, and then make that policy better, mm -hmm. embrace that policy, and effectuate that policy. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, that's how we're going to be judged as a party, is the outcomes we deliver. Mm -hmm. Well, this has been a fascinating conversation. Thank you for having me. Well, thank you very much. For yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I'm grateful. Uh, we have, um, if you are interested in uh, uh, supporting uh, Merrick's campaign, volunteering, uh, again, his website is MerrickForAChange.com. And uh, thank you again. Thank you. That's all the time that we have uh, for this edition of Thinking Green. My name is Ron Suresha, and we'll see you again before too long.